What's going on babes and babettes? Today I'm gonna be going to a thrift store to look for some cool new clothes that I can wear both like on stage and just like in general and see if there's anything worthwhile here. So let's go. So one of the things I got is this short sleeve button up. Uh, it has these like studs kind of on the side. Um, I don't know if I'll keep these or exchange them out for like a different one. I might add some patches, some studs probably. Um, just things to do it up a little more so it doesn't look so plain and fancy and formal I guess. And I also got this. Um, this cool vest. Um, it's kind of like a cropped vest, so I'll probably just wear it like on its own. On the back side, I don't really like these on shirts or jackets or vests or anything at all. So I'll probably end up taking this off. Oh, there's pockets. Put pics in there. That'll come in handy. I got this one because it reminds me of the clothes that Brody Doll wears sometimes. So maybe I might look good in it too. I didn't get too many things today because there wasn't a lot of thrift stores open today because it is Sunday that I'm recording this. So I'm lucky that I found one that was open. I got these awesome boots. I'm really excited about these. Um, I haven't even tried them on yet. So I hope they work. They look like they haven't even really been used a lot. So I don't know. Let me try them on. All right, now this is gonna be like a pain in the ass to get on and off all the time. There we go. Okay, I like these. I like these a lot. Now they're really comfortable and they, they're movable. Uh, it's not like how like, like it's not stiff. That's it for the stuff I got today, but I also wanted to share like some of the other stage wear that I have that I wear sometimes. So I'm gonna make it like a two in one video since I didn't get too much today at the thrift store. Let me show you guys what I have. All right, so I have a lot of stuff here with me. So let's jump right in. I have these cool black pants. Um, they're originally from Yandy and I have a few clothing pieces from Yandy. It's like a lingerie store online. Except uh, my boyfriend, he like altered the top so it had, um, it had the waistband and this lace up crotch part. One of my favorite um, pants to wear live when I choose um, I want to go shiny. <laughs> but then also the one thing I don't like about these, the bottom of the pants are kind of really like, like they go up to like here. So like I have to wear like tall boots to cover that up because otherwise that would look really dumb. Well, maybe it'll look good, but I'm scared to try. And um, I haven't worn these in a while, but like for my birthday, my boyfriend also made me these cool pants. Um, it's velvet and there's like paint splatters on it and like uh, patches all over it on the back too. Uh, well, there we go. <laughs> oh, they have these chains on it too, which is really cool. And I also have these cool ones that I don't wear very much often at all. I haven't worn these in a long time. I don't like these because uh, I got them from Amazon and they're kind of cheapo. I can explain, like it's like really thin, weird material right here. Like I like the idea of these pants where it's like the lace up sides. That's what these are. This particular one is really weird. The sides, like look at how long this is. This is just for this side. It's like this is the top of it and it hangs way down here. Like when I put these on, uh, it ends up, this ends up stretching out to this knot, but then there's still this much left over and it just, it hangs down a lot and it looks really weird to me. But I still have them just in case I feel like wearing them or fixing it. I guess I could cut these, but still. This is really the jacket that I wear a lot. I found this at a thrift store. It was just plain. There was nothing on it. And the funny thing is it's from uh, Forever 21 and <laughs> here it is how it is. On the back I just have that. It's not done yet, but I'm definitely going to be doing more. I want to add different types of studding on there. We'll see what ends up looking like soon. I also really like this one. This one's also Forever 21. It was on clearance and it's like there's nothing wrong with it. So I mean, it looks really cool. Like I love this one. I don't understand what the problem with it is, but okay, I haven't found it yet. This is also one that I wear. I've worn it the whiskey twice. It's a picture of the most recent time I wore it. I really like this one. It was originally like a long trench coat. I totally just cut it up. I cut off the, um, like how you know on the vest it had that thing on the back, the strap. Uh, I cut that off of this one too. And um, I left all this lacing on it. Funny thing is it's 
a BB or Bebe, whatever it is, but it's me, so. <laughs> Lately, I've just been wearing like whatever shirt I feel like. Like I'll wear like this shirt on stage or like any other, like I make all those spray paint shirts. Um, I like wearing those a lot. Uh, this is another favorite. Um, I, oh, this is coming off. I bought it with this on. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I put these studs on it though, on the back. Where did I get, oh, I got this from her closet. It's this place at the mall and it's like one of those I don't know what's like what the babies wear. I don't know what these are called. <laughs> Onesies. That's what this is. Um, I haven't worn this like since the, one of the first Street Link shows, but I really like it. I should wear it. My grandma got me two velvet shirts, black and red. I obviously like, I was like really into like cutting off the shoulder for a while. So I did that to both of these. I really like these cause they look kind of like dressy a little bit, but then I had to screw it up a little bit, you know. I have, a large variety of bandanas to choose from for whichever reason I want to use these. You've seen me use some of these for the basis IRL videos when I was playing like as Gertrude. These are her bandanas I guess. Do I use any of these? I used to use the red ones but I don't have those on my belt anymore. And I've had this pirate one for like a super long time. I think I got it when I was like 10. Like check this out. I've had it for so long. Whoa! It's like huge. It's like way bigger than all the other ones too. Yeah, I had it have been when I was 10 because like I was Jack Sparrow for Halloween when I was like really young. Eventually I kind of just want all my stage wear to be like made from people and not like bought from stores or used like I've bought today. But I really like spray painting and uh, I was looking for shirts to spray paint while I was at the thrift store but like I, I didn't see any I like a lot of v-necks. I do not like v-necks. Do not buy me v-necks. Thank you. This is the belt that I wear pretty much every show. Uh, my boyfriend also made this whole thing for me. It's like this like all the way around and then over here of the flower, because I'm a bee. Bee bee. I, guess. I have the black one on here and I usually, I gotta wash this probably because a lot of the times you go to venues and like they don't have um, towels to, to clean your hands in the bathroom so I end up washing my hands on these. So this is probably really gross right now. And I'm probably gonna get sick from it right now. Like look at this, it's huge. Like one time, I wore this to an Aquabats concert, which is probably not the smartest move I've ever made, but I did it. And like when you're in the pit, you end up like hitting people and that was, I'm, I'm so sorry. None of you deserve that at all. I, if I wear this at shows, I do not wear it on this hand because it's the one I play. I'd probably more than likely be wearing it on this hand. I have basically all the stuff that I use uh, a majority of the time. Um, of course I wear my docks or my heels or vans. That's pretty much it. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.